Hey folks, uh, today we're doing a short video on a Lions Tub and Surround. It's a 6032 contour tub, and I have my, my tubs fit. It's all glued in place. And I got the old one out, and the alcove was a little bit uh, out of whack, but it was bigger than it needed to be, so I had to shim the tub, and I actually shimmed the tub back to the left. My drain is on the right. Uh, the surround is dry fit right now. And I got my plumbing all done. Uh, there's other videos out there. You know, the, I, won't, I say with copper. Or as they say on the East Coast, copper. Because everything else is copper in this house. So yeah, I, I sweated the fittings. Got the measurements of where I needed to be. That's all right now. Got my test valve up above. And like any other remodel, nothing's ever square and true. So I had to actually rip some you see this one I colored the the strip on the one side but down to right there is where it ended but those are just strips the two by four I ripped on my table saw and furred it out uh, I had to go about seven sixteenths on the surround which means I'll have to bump out on the rest of these two by fours um, almost like thirteen sixteenths will be the shim on those because the other side here, I didn't have to do any shimming. It's tied up against the wall, uh, but you have to overlap this nail flange, they call it, or the screw flange. So you're, you're kind of dilled if you got to do a remodel and all your studs are true. You know, you can do a new alcove and, and rip part of those studs out of the way and then just install it flush with the other two buys. But in this case, or anybody's remodel, generally you're gonna have flush two by fours and they want you to overlap that. So you're gonna to have to fur out all the rest of your studs in your bathroom on the, on the one wall, well, three walls. Of course, the both the surround sides and the back. So if you have a huge bathroom, you're gonna be a lot, of, <laughs> a lot of furring strips. And I just cut them in the table saw and then I run them through the joiner and it runs the joiner with another board on top of the strip so it doesn't rattle and chip and works out real well. Uh, you know, there's lots of ways to do this. You can just use plywood, but I wanted to get the strips the right thickness and these strips had to be actually a little less than 7 16 so you can custom cut those out of two by four is real easy. And once you get set up, it doesn't take long. But right now I'm doing a water test in my, my floor drain. That water's been in there for a couple hours now, I suppose. I went down below, left the drain wide open, and I don't have any leaks, so we're good there. And there, that instructions up and they're gonna be sopping wet. So yeah, from an arts tub and Plenty of people have, I'm sure, installed these. But I just wanted to point out the fact that you have to have furring strips sometimes, and that's what they look like when you get them installed. And the surround, like I said, you have to fur it out on three walls to overlap the drywall on that nailing flange with this style of tub. So, yeah, that's it. Hope you have good luck, and this helps you when you're doing your installation. Stay tuned.